straight up a Tri-Man. But I think one of the biggest challenges for Tri-Mans is facing someone that's just good with Pikachu. Yeah. If you just dedicate your time to Pikachu, it's so awkward as the Tri-Man how to fight them because yeah. you don't really have you're a You're not winning gonna win matchup. the Ditto unless you're better, like exactly. much better. Exactly. And then the Falcon matchup can go either way, really. Yeah, but as a Pika man, like the Pika man is going to have played against Falcon yes. so many times. Yep. And that's you know, that's why I always advocate for the solo main, you know. Yeah, right. honestly that dynamic is what made me want to be solo main like Pika. Pika. Yeah. Um, and uh, just, you as well, Amen. You you have no one to blame but yourself every matchup you go into. Exactly, yeah. And so we are seeing Epad just stick with the ditto. Uh, I know he's practiced with this for sure. Um, I don't know which all matchups he uses Falcon for. We might see him switch to Falcon if he gets uh, if he gets kind of destroyed. But yeah, I don't know if they double blinded or double wound to start this one off. But uh, oh yeah, he could have been scared of the, the potential Kirby. Uh, uh, I don't know how he lost his him, jump there. Um, so, oh, blue goes the red hat, right? Yes. So, blue goes part one. Quite strong. Nice. I like that up across the stage. Nice, safe single zip. Oh, yeah, I love that. I don't know if it was necessary to upbeat out of that, but as soon as you upbeat to the bottom plat like that, if you pivot away, you can very often get a grab. Yeah. So, very smart technique. Or strategy, I should say. Yeah, blue go is quite good at the ditto from what I've seen. Yeah, I thought this would probably be the worst decision that Epad could have made in terms of character choice was dittoing Blugo, who's historically a Pika main. Um, but yeah, this... game one, you know, I mean, we saw Blugo play the Kirby really well. And uh, you might just not want to mess with it. That yeah. was a great pivot back there from Epad, really fast, gets the grab. And we're tied up at one stock apiece, so. Some aggressive movement here. Epad jumping forward with these up airs, taking up a ton of space, and then. Anti-airing him. Oh, misses the up tilt there. Looks like what he wanted. Blue go. Ah, that was an unnecessary long up B. He almost got the ledge canceled, but still punishable. Yeah, and we can see E-Pad is very aggressive here. Just constantly putting Blue go in the corner. Good patience to wait for him to fall down right in his lap. I like that up B angle too. He's good at escaping up Bs, but Blue goes on him. Yeah, Epad doing these great uppies that just minimize the amount of lag he has, you know? A yeah. single zip that lands you exact where you where you want is so hard to punish. I think Blugo's being a bit aggressive with his offstage edge guarding, and it's giving Epad the entire stage to work with. The opposite of the noob tube. <laughs> yeah, once you realize that you're not getting mileage out of the, the pressuring him off stage, I think it's time to uh, work on stage. Oh, he had so much time to find a punish there. Just goes for the grab. Maybe not what he wanted, but... Wow, you know. great follow from Epad. There's a little trickery from Blugo. Granted, it gave him more time. Epad was stuck on him the entire time. And Epad has just taken, what, three stocks in a row? Yeah, this one started off close, but uh, it has not gone that way the rest of the, the so rest. where of is the he going? Yeah, not what he wanted. I, I think he couldn't decide about top platform or side platform. So Blugo gets to bring it back. Two stocks to one, both at 0% here. What can he find? Epad just constantly backing him in the corner. He's so aggressive in his neutral. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's all, all over, over Blugo. Yeah, and that's a that could be a stock right yeah, there. Yeah, it goes for two up airs. I'm real, not even sure that was necessary. A lack of, a real lack of DI from Blugo on that combo. Not necessarily the easiest thing to get out of, but you gotta you gotta at least try. Uh, but yeah, Epad. His aggressive kind of suffocating neutral really made that look very undoable for Blugo as that went on. Yeah, and I, I think one of the things that can separate players at this level from a bit higher is that ability to deal with, with pressure situations yeah. and situations that aren't quite combos and have those defensive options. Um, and so oh. Epad kind of taking advantage of that, just rush, rushing Blugo down. Blugo so far not able to stabilize. Well, I don't like no, that up B. Yeah, that was yeah. Pretty... And no DI on the up airs means E-pad is safe to do double up air to bear. Just giving well, him I like a free that mix stock. Up. Yeah, Blue, Blue Go is not only struggling in the neutral here, but he's definitely losing the recovery and the edge guard game pretty handily. And he's got to mix something up if he oh, wants to stay in this one. Yeah, E-pad looking very practiced. Well, nice F tilt and just runs up and gets the grab. So Blue Go finding a good spot here, but the Nair not quite on the edge guard, and Epad immediately turns it around. 
What? Oh. There's some slipperiness. Epad dying the wrong way. But good adjustment from Blugo to end that one, uh, possibly an up air early. Make sure he gets the stock. Yeah. Just goes for the up air, not trying to tech chase. Oh, I oh, love that call out with the up tilt. It's a turnaround up tilt. Yeah, when someone's facing the other way like that, you don't necessarily expect them to instantly up tilt. You try and challenge them from above and get punished hard. So E-pad bringing this one up. Basically a Another mix up up B. Yeah, uh, E-pad looking very good. And you can see him mashing that DI. This could be a... Oh, great DI from E-pad. Saves his life there. Well, he is DIing in on Pika combos, which can be a little risky, but... But it, it I think it definitely saved his stock there. But he keeps going for fares. Those are so easy to grab. Blugo very ready for it. And I think this might be how Blugo wins. Um, he's very good at uh, spacing those grabs. And honestly, if Epad's going to keep giving that to you, just, you know, run away, space away. Because Epad is, like you said, he's been playing very aggressive. If you can pa play patient and space well, you can win this. No, I think Epad knows, you know, once he calms down a bit, he knows... He doesn't need to just run in with fares. He can, right. you know, use up airs, use backers. He can still be aggressive without, you know, overextending to that extent. Yeah. Right now, Blugo is making him make that adjustment. So we'll yeah. see how that uh, how that turns out. Yeah, and we can see Epet here being a little more patient and neutral. Just doing these bears. Both of these guys love these nares to call out the... Uh, I think Blugo was a little late on the up air there. That would have uh, helped him get back. Yeah, Epet. and now Blugo potentially on his final stock. Calls him out the jump. I like that. Oh, he had the, the read. single zip. And a fantastic upbeat from Epad. Oh, but he gets called out. See, Blue Another Go. one. Blue Go all over him. Oh, no. He hits him the wrong way. Epad That's so makes it back. That's so frustrating. Goes for the raw F smash. Honestly, not a bad idea. It seemed pretty likely that Epad would just run at him there. And we saw Blue Go opting for more like closer to stage edge guards. I really like that. It's been paying off for him. And Epad with a move. Blue Go gets the grab, bringing this to last stock, 0% both sides. The Seems pivot up tilt is a little slow. Blue Go finds his way out. Both these guys just tacking on percent, one hit at a time. The run and jump there. Epad getting a little too aggressive. Blue Go making knows a how to monumental adjustment this uh, at the end of this game that could save could save the set for him. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it counts. Epad can't get too antsy. Just needs to keep up the aggression, the controlled aggression that's got him this far. He runs in with another Nair. These haven't been working for him. Now he's off stage. Great recovery. I can't believe he found that edge cancel. Great. Great up B. Chases him with a fair. Can't get anything more off that. Both these guys are all over the place with these edge cancels. It's crazy how good people have gotten at them. It's nearly dead even. This is Division 2, and these guys are edge canceling almost every uppy. Just runs Rips in. the back air. Yeah, just gets wow. back air. Blue Go winning at 107%. And and what I liked seeing from Blue Go was, you know, stick to the game plan. When you have something that works, you got to exactly. make them you got to make them break it, right? You got to make them break your defense. He stuck to those pivot away grabs. Got Epad so many times and threw in some uh, some aerials too, you know, uh, kind of stuffing his approaches with nares and back airs and Blue Ghost spacing at the end of that really saved saved the set for him. It's getting KD3 a little bit of the coming in from coach's KD3. boy. Yeah, Epad without Dogs Johnson at the scene. He's without I was a say, coach. At the, at the very least, he could have another Canadian help him. Where's Chris Kringle? Yeah, pull out, out his there phone and start texting else. Dogs. And, you know, Epad, it's the Canadian cheers. The man has the confidence, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I I don't yeah, I don't know if he's texting anyone, if he's getting that advice. He's, he's but I think fixing his music, I'm sure. Putting on some Kanye yeah. West. I think he on some knows bangers. for a fact in his head, knowing him, that he's going to win this set, right? Like, that's what's going on in his head, his uh, unstuffable confidence. Even when he's getting absolutely beat down. Well, he's not getting beat down too far. That game no, was no, very not, close. No, no, not in this set. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. in this set. Epad choosing to stick with Pikachu. For sure showing that confidence. Not going to switch to Falcon. Maybe ne would need some time to warm that up. Ooh. Just pushes him kind of off the stage without even attacking him. Just runs him over. And, yeah, Chad really shocked to see no Falcon from Epad. 
Um, that one got away from him at the end, but he's starting this one off quite strong. He yeah, wants to win with the Pika. I think if he has an adjustment in mind, if he has a change that he knows he needs to make, then switching with the Pika is yeah. totally justifiable. And if he you looks think, strong. If you think you're the better player, you don't, you can't switch the character after playing another one the entire set, right? Yeah, especially yeah. to something as high variance as Falcon, right? Yeah. If you're the better player, just show him with Pikachu. You'll yeah. have so many opportunities. And E-Pad already, I feel like his aggression has been a bit more controlled, finds this grab, less of these weak short hop aerial approaches, and more controlling the pace. Ooh, such a quick movement. Beluga, though, not gonna let him take it for free. Up tilt, <laughs> runs all the way across the stage. Beautiful neutral from both of them. Yeah. Wow. They're Just spacing them out. so closely to each other. Yeah. Both these guys honestly playing very well. And he gets the grab at the ledge out of up B. Just, Just missed it. Barely over. Blugo keeping himself alive. Needs to take the stock. Hogs the ledge, but doesn't realize Epad can just grab it again. And again, doesn't cover that top platform. And Blugo's going to fish for that grab for sure. And great adjustment from Epad throwing out the up tilt to stuff the grab. And the Gets pivot on. Own. Yeah, great stuff from Epad. I love that approach. Instead of running right at him with an aerial, he aerials in front of him, then immediately turns around and up tilts and to that's stuff. That's a top Blue level, answer. you know, that's how you can tell you're evolving as a player when you're able to make that kind of a play. Yeah, and that kind of adjustment. Epad looking great. Very fast movement. Blugo needs to take this stock. Luckily, Pikachu has tons of tools. He doesn't have to fish for a single kill move. Pikachu has so many in his kit. Oh, not the best recovery, but Blugo didn't punish it. Gets handed one for free anyways. Yeah, we knew he would find that stock. The question is what he can do on this one, if he can build up the percent. Oh! No, Ebed just hogs the ledge. Yeah, and that's something, honestly, I've seen a lot from different sets this tournament. The uh, the ledge hog game has been really strong from uh, Pika players, so we'll see more of that, I'm sure. Finds that bear, immediately gets the grab. But so far, Blue Go just hasn't been able to answer these top flat recoveries from Epad. It seems like he does it every time. Really aggressive punish there that just wasn't wasn't in the cards. It gives the E-pad great edge guarding opportunity. <laughs> yeah, and Lugo, nice ledge cancel to the other side, but he just can't stop this pressure. E-pad all over him. Wow, great what a up great upbeat. That was fin phenomenal. But again, he gets hit again, and again he goes oh. for it. This time doesn't get the ledge. It was a good idea. He just slightly missed on the execution. Really unfortunate. But e pad uh, sticking Pika was the right move. You know, you think you're the better player, you stick with what was working. 